Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is Powerful People in World History, Poetic Tour, Part 1. Muhammad, 570-632 A.D., Arabia. The Prophet Muhammad founded the religion of Islam in the year 610 A.D. in the city of Mecca on the Arabian Peninsula. Today, there are 1.8 billion Muslims, 24% of the world population. In North Africa, the Middle East, Central Asia, the Indian subcontinent, and Southeast Asia. Isaac Newton, England, United Kingdom, 1642 to 1726. Alexander Pope's famous epitaph for one of the most influential scientists of all time. Nature and nature's laws lay hid in night. God said, let Newton be, and all was light. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 4 B.C. to 30 A.D. Israel, the founder of Christianity. Jesus Christ's Jesus Christ's great victory while dying on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. To live a life of love and forgiveness. We all need to do this, not just a few. Lord Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama, 563 B.C. to 483 B.C. North India. Lord, B the founder of Buddhism. Lord Buddha's immortal words under a banyan tree. Beneath the banyan bough, on a sacred seat, I take this vow. Until life's mystery I solve, until I gain the priceless lore, though bones and fleeting flesh dissolve, I'll leave this posture nevermore. Confucius 551 B.C. to 479 B.C., Shandong, China. Philosopher and politician. Some quotes by Confucius. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but rising every time we fall. The more man meditates upon good thoughts, the better will be his world and the world at large. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. St. Paul, 5 A.D. to 67 A.D. Tarsus, Cilicia, the Roman Empire. A Christian saint. Paul was on the wrong road in life when traveling as a young man from Jerusalem to Damascus. Jesus Christ appeared. Paul became blind for three days. He became a strong Christian and lived a noble life that was very kind and just. Kai Lun, 40, 48 to 121 AD, Henan, China. Kai Lun invented paper in ancient China. We should pay our respects to him after every good book we have read, even though for 1900 years he's been dead. Johannes Gutenberg, 1400-1468, Mainz, Holy Roman Empire. Johannes Gutenberg was a German who invented the printing press. This led to the mass production of books and played a key role in the development of the Renaissance and the Reformation, as well as the Age of Enlightenment and the Scientific Revolution. Christopher Columbus, 1451 to 1506, Genoa, Italy, and Castile, Spain. Christopher Columbus's voyage across the Atlantic Ocean ended the isolation of North and South America in 1492. It started the European colonization of the Americas. Ninety percent of the American Indians died. The survivors must have been extremely sad and blue. Albert Einstein, 1879 to 1955, Germany and the United States. Albert Einstein was the German-born theoretical 
physicist who developed E equals mc squared, the mass-energy equivalence formula, the world's most famous equation. He also developed the theory of relativity, one of the two pillars of modern physics, alongside quantum mechanics, so important for scientific evolution. Louis Pasteur, 1822 to 1895, France. Louis Pasteur discovered the germ theory of disease. This led to a technique of treating milk to stop bacterial contamination. This healthy practice was named in his honor and is called pasteurization. Galileo Galilei, 1564 to 1642, Italy. A poem by Mike Jones. An avid student of Copernicus and keen observer of the universe. The founding father of astronomy. Philosopher and polymath was he. Punished by Pope Urban for heresy. For his heliocentric theory. He appeared before the Inquisition, which required his public recantation. Imprisoned, muttered, and yet the, the earth moves. But, but this false recantation nothing proves. Aristotle, 384 to 322 BC, Greece. Greek philosopher, with his teacher Plato, the father of Western philosophy. Aristotle said, quote, It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. I count him braver who overcomes his desires than him who conquers his enemies, for the hardest victory is over the self. You will never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. Euclid, (coughs) mid-4th century B.C. to the mid-3rd century B.C., ancient Greece. Euclid was a Greek mathematician. He's the father of of geometry. Euclid, a poem by Vachel Lindsay. Old Euclid drew a circle on a sand beach long ago. He bounded and enclosed it, with angles thus and so. His set of solemn graybeards nodded and argued much, of arc and circumference, diameter and such. A silent child stood by them from morning until noon because they drew such charming round pictures of the moon. Moses, 1391 to 1271 B.C., Egypt and Israel. Moses led the ancient Israelites from slavery in Egypt to freedom in Israel. We all have been slaves of material living, but we can find freedom in the spiritual life, seeking God and escape our own personal hell. Charles Darwin, 1809-1882, Great Britain. Darwin was a naturalist, geologist, and biologist. Charles Darwin is best known for his contributions to the science of evolution. Darwin argued that the struggle for existence led to natural selection. Shi Huang Ti, also known as Qin Shi Huang, 259 B.C. to 210 B.C., China. The first emperor of unified China. His name was Shi Huang Ti. To protect himself from evil spirits after his death, the emperor built 6,000 clay soldiers, the Terracotta Army. Augustus Caesar, 63 B.C. to 14 A.D. Ancient Rome, the Roman Republic and the Roman Emperor. Augustus Caesar was the first emperor of the Roman Empire. I found Rome a city of bricks and left it a city of marble. Thus spoke Augustus Caesar. Augustus restored the outward facade of the free republic, but in reality he had become a dictator. Nicholas Copernicus, 1473 to 1543, Poland. Copernicus was a polymath, mathematician, astronomer, and physician. Copernicus, a poem by Gary Revel. The sun is the center, he said. 
The earth spins round and around. Liar, they said, the earth is the center. You must be stopped, gagged, and bound. They persecuted this man who boldly said, The truth is truth to your disdain. And on his deathbed he held a book. The truth was there with his name. Antoine Lavoisier, 1743-1794, to 1794, France, the father of modern chemistry. He discovered the important role oxygen plays in combustion. Tragically, he was arrested and executed by guillotine during the crazy days of the French Revolution. Constantine the Great, 272-337, Roman Empire. Constantine was the first Roman emperor to stop the persecution of Christians and to legalize Christianity. This was a major step forward in the improvement of public morality. James Watt, 1736 to 1819, Scotland, United Kingdom. James Watt invented the Watt steam engine, a vital part of the Industrial Revolution. The power of steam led to a dramatic increase in worker production. Michael Faraday, England, Great Britain, 1791 to 1867. Michael Faraday was one of the greatest scientists of all time. Largely due to his efforts, today we live in the age of electricity. As a result, as a result, we have lights at night and so much more allowing folks to live lives of felicity. James Clerk Maxwell, Scotland, United Kingdom, 1831 to 1879. James Clerk Maxwell was a Scottish scientist whose most notable achievement was to formulate the classical theory of electromagnetic radiation bringing together for the first time electricity, magnetism, and light as different manifestations of the same phenomenon. For the scientifically inclined, this is exciting. For others, their only reaction is to yawn. (sighs) Martin Luther, German, Holy Roman Empire, 1483 to 1546 a seminal figure in the Protestant Reformation of Christianity. God is our refuge in distress, a poem by Martin Luther. God is our refuge in distress, our shield of hope through every care, our shepherd watching us to bless, and therefore we will not despair. Although the mountains shake and hills their place forsake and billows o'er them break, Yet still we will not fear, for thou, O God, art ever near. Well, that concludes today's uh, episode. Uh, I hope you have a good history book to read or find a good history book. There have so, been so many amazing history books that have been ri- written and are out there. You might consider checking out our website, Adventures in History with Peter J. Ray, at peterjray.com. So far, we have made 586 history videos in seven areas world history, American history, book reviews, poetic poetic tours, Cleveland baseball, family history, and autobiography. You also might consider checking out our podcast, Adventures in History. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.